job attack on the royal family has been uh, a really vicious piece of work, actually, and and it spectacularly backfired, fortunately, upon both Harry and, and Meghan here. Uh, and I think the British public have turned Harry really into a, a pariah as a result. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Button 901. We're giving you guys a quick live talking about Prince Harry and Meghan. You know, I like to give you guys an update on what's happening in the royal, royal spaces. Um, Prince Harry and Meghan again are being discussed on GBN News. Again, it's a UK outlet. And a gentleman who's on the left hand side, full on left hand side, that's Dan Woodson. He's had it in for uh, uh, Prince Meghan, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan for the longest of times. I mean, this guy has made it his mission, just like Piers Morgan, their mission to try and bring down Prince Harry and Meghan. There's literally hate in their veins. It's, it don't make sense, but it makes sense when you know that money talks. You understand? When people have money on the line, money talks, money talks. Okay, so okay, I'm sorry. But you know what I mean? So uh, we're going to break down the video really quickly because they're talking about the fact that um, Megan put in a newspaper that, you know what, she wouldn't necessarily have gone the way that Harry would have gone at the very beginning. But then once he went down, he made his decision, she got fully behind him. And they took that statement, and I'll read it out to you in a second. They took that whole statement and made a whole video of it, a whole live, talking about how Megan is separating herself from, from Harry and beginning the, the, the separation. And we knew this was coming. Do you know how many times that couples say that maybe I wouldn't have done that in the beginning and then got fully behind him? Where's the separation in that? So she has to agree with everything that Harry says. No, or does. No, of course not. But they're trying to make it into a, you know, when the devil is in the camp, when the devil is working hard to still kill and destroy and the devil looks like you and me, huh? What, what, what God has brought together, let no man put asunder. Look at, this is literally what these people are trying to do. They're literally vying and hoping and pressing for a divorce. They are literally wanting to split people up. This is nasty. It's disgusting. It's despicable. you got to live with this your whole entire life. But you know what? A lot of people don't have consciences. That's the, really, that's the reality of the thing. A lot of people here don't have consciences. And this is what it is. So we're going to break down their conversation. So if you're new to the channel and you like what we do, in fact, before you even like what we do, you're, you're liking it. This is why you're here. You see me? Yeah, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Then you know what I'm saying, okay? And click on that bell button for notification of the what up lows. And for those of you who are returnees, you know what it is, baby. You got the minerals. You got the minerals. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. All right, listen. Let's get into the video and break down what was said as well. Okay. Result of this very nasty book. Also in the United States as well, the popularity of Harry and Meghan has fallen significantly. And I do think that Harry and Meghan uh, definitely underestimated the level of backlash there was going to be mm. against Spare. Hence the reason why I think Meghan has been rather, uh, rather quiet. After all, uh, she has treated Harry, I think, like a useful idiot uh, for many. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's park the freaking bus right here. First and foremost, the book has done 3.2 million sales, I believe. It's, 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 it's number one. Like, yo, the book is slelling out. What are you talking about? The book is not doing well. See, people, when you come with outrageous lies, it's sickening. You, you are sick in your body when you're saying this kind of stuff. Like, honestly, what are you talking about? The book is killing it. The book is actually tr is killing it, and the Netflix series that they did is killing it. So what are you talking about? Why are you why are you purposely lying? Why are you purposely lying like this, right? And the thing is, because there are some people that are, don't know how to critically think, won't do research, won't go out and get data, they will just de de definitely believe these people a hundred percent of what they say, right? They're looking for those kind of people, and then and then they put these ideas that Megan is treat and treating Harry like the that like what the idiot, the idiot. If it's an idiot, let him be an idiot then. Why are we still got you've done so many pieces? Why do you keep talking about the fact that he's an idiot? If it's an idiot, let him be. You don't even want him. It's mad. They don't want him in the royal family. You're saying that he's dysfun he's dysfunctional and he's putting he's destroying the image of the fa royal family. Let him go then. Why are we still talking about him? Let him go. Many, many years. And now Harry is undermining the Meghan brand, and obviously she's not happy about that, actually. Uh, this book has been a spectacular disaster, I think in terms of the image and standing. So, so Niall, you Harry think that this Atlantic. briefing to the Daily Telegraph, because that's fascinating analysis, you think this briefing to the Daily Telegraph could be Megan making her first, you know, it's, 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 it's a small start, but it could be her starting for the first time to sort of distance herself a little bit from Harry, which a lot of us have expected for a long time. When I read what she actually says, it's wild that they think this. Just saying, it's wild. 
Like, they're trying to put dissension in the air. Like, when I read you what actually she said, you're going to find this. This is just nuts. Is is They're doing a lot. They're doing the most. They're reaching, okay, beyond the stars. I, I do think we are beginning to see divisions in uh, camp Harry and Meghan because mm. this book has been absolutely disastrous, I think, for their, for their standing and their image. Uh, and, and I think there will be fallout from this. Uh, and uh, I would not be surprised if, if Meghan is deeply unhappy about the backlash the book has, has received, and she's unhappy about Harry's performance. Uh, and after all, uh, this is all about Meghan, ultimately. Uh, I do think Harry, in some respects, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Meghan Markle. And well, her brand. So he's destroying her image. But he intentionally chose to go against her, but yet he's under her spell and her control. And then he came out and wrote a book which she didn't agree with, but then agreed with. But yet again, she's under he's under her control. And he's a billowing idiot. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. This is the kind of stuff we're seeing on a daily basis in the UK. After a while, it just gets you get tired of seeing the, of, of rubbish and brains that are not. I don't know how don't brains. I don't think. Let me read you what she actually said. Um, it was a uh, within an article, right? So this was in regards to the book Spare. I'll put this up, right? So you can have a look. Okay. So she puts this. Um. So and again, these are source. This is not even necessarily even her. It's a source. And we really know how the, and it's not even her who even wrote this because it was a source. And we know how sources are. We know in the media, they lie for free. So we, I can't even take this seriously because they lie for free. So unless she definitely got a quote from her, from uh, Meghan Markle herself, I don't really believe anything they say because they've lied on her for free. But we're going to read it. Per the Telegraph, sources suggest that media savvy Meghan was slightly more circumspect about the concept of a memoir and may have raised gentle concern about whether it was the right move. Not a problem. Your husband is writing a book that's a tell-all, basically, literally outing everything the royal family are doing. Um, would you be concerned? Um, I might be. Uh, that might not be my way of doing it. I may raise my concerns. Absolutely. It's normal. Um, no stranger to taking on her enemies. She's understood to have been more wary than the Duke about this particular project. Again, what's wrong with this? Her be more wary um, than 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 he is. What is the problem with that? Again, that's normal relationship dynamics. Someone will maybe feel a bit more cautious about the way to go about it. That's normal. That said, once Harry had made his mind up, the Duchess is said to have offered her full support and immensely proud of his achievements. Okay, again, what's the problem? Okay, once again, she offered her support and uh, right behind his achievements. What's the issue here? What's the split here? OK, a source told Tommy, I mean, again, we don't know who your source is and we know that you guys lie. So I really can't believe you. Is this the way that she should have approached things? Possibly not, but she'll always back him. OK. All right. Cool. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. And someone wrote this, huh? Whoever would have thought we'd have seen such cautiousness from the same person who told Netflix cameras. Doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? What is so interesting here is the Duchess' reticent instinct seemed to have been on the money because while Harry's decision to spend 400 pages tarring and feathering his family in between teaching the world exactly where not to apply, Elizabeth Arden might turn out to be lucrative. It has come out of cost of Sussexes. In short, if you have to take your day of the week boxes to apply the price of cream, stop what you're doing. I don't know what the frick that means. Um, three lots of polling have come out in the last week and all have painted a pretty... Uh, the sultry picture of the Duke and Duchess, not only in UK, but crucially in the United States. Uh, if I remember correctly, this doesn't actually, that that particular thing they're talking about actually is a lie. So uh, uh, the, the polls that, uh, that I remember someone talking about, they actually were more popular. So I don't know where these people are saying they weren't popular. I need to see these polls. Notice that they haven't put supply the polls. There's a reason why they haven't supplied the polls, because they don't have the polls. <laughs> is that reason why? They don't have the polls, so I'm not going to believe what you're going to say. You don't have the stats, I'm not going to believe what you've got to say. This is hearsay and how you feel about it. I literally just watched, we just literally watched a video of a guy saying the book hasn't done well, and it's on 3.2 million sales. And Netflix have been killing it, okay? 7 million plus subscribers have come because of their show. Don't tell me lies. I hate it. You know what I mean? That's why you can't back it with nothing. Most recent set of numbers from IPOS has found that even Harry and Meghan barrage of criticisms about royal family and the institution of monarchy, things are still relatively ticky-boo for anyone with an official cipher to their name. 
Uh, yes, according to iPost polling on Tuesday, while both William and Kate, Prince of Wales, have taken a slight hit in the UK, down eight points from Willie and down seven points from Luxon Lip Gloss, share of Kate. This just brings them back in line with the support prior to the Queen's death. Things are generally the same for King Charles, only down 1%, uh, which is a, a post spare. But both His Majesty and Son William, the percentage of respondents who believe they are doing a good job on the thrones, roughly where it is last year. Okay. In America, the Duchess support has fallen 8 points to 35% of people having a favourable view of her for the Duke has suffered 11 point hit and is setting on 41% approval. Potentially rubbing the salt in a reputational wound is that William and man Harry first to in the spur as arch nemesis it's basically neck and neck with him support wise on 40 percent, even after he told his brother had a sort of him during the old occasion 2019 yeah i'll believe this when i see the actual uh when they give me the 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 actual where we're getting these stats from so i'm i'm not gonna just believe what he says i'm gonna be honest with you because every time they tell us this stuff they'll be telling you they'll be telling you some some uh a skewed data when they want to tell you how they feel about prince harry and megan I'll be honest with you. But I wanted to just let you know about that. So there's enemies within that are trying to instigate divorces out here. And I'm telling you, it's mad. They're facing a whole barrage of madness. But anyway, this is my daily update for you guys. Um, hopefully, you'll get some more daily updates tomorrow as well. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. 